Okay, I'm finished with the gas. I'm not, I'm just trying to not yeah. panic. Um, we're going to Whole Foods right now and I'm gonna get some ice cream. I have a love for ice cream, you guys. It's not, yeah, I want to go to Barnes and Noble after though. Oh, I thought that was a bee. <laughs> See you guys when we get there. You know, the last time I was here, I almost got in trouble for vlogging. I don't know, the yeah. security guard was just looking at me. Twice, he passed by my eyes. Yeah. No. Okay, so, I want to just show you one thing. I mean, I'll just show you what I got in general. This is just an overview of what I got. And my mom also got a couple of things. So I'm gonna be like, the tips for the salsa I got, or the guacamole, I'm gonna be sharing with her. But what I wanted to specify was this ice cream. And the flavor, this is the smoothest ice cream I've ever had, vegan or non-vegan. I swear to God, it's so good. And then I got cherry amaretto, so I'm gonna try something new. But the vanilla island flavor, oh my God. I love that ice cream so much. Shout out to Sarah for recommending it. And then there's this company, Daya. And I found out when I was first going vegan that I really like. And that flavor, it is this. I'm trying it for the first time, so we're gonna go check out now. Like a name I remember hearing Wild winter Warm coffee Mom's gone Do you love me? Blazing summer Cold coffee Baby's gone Do you love me? Hey, so I think we both knew that I wasn't so sure about going to Barnes & Noble But hopefully tomorrow we can make it there Thank you and um, I wanted to mention something that has been pretty prevalent. I don't know if it's just today for me. Yeah, I think it's just today. But um, let me know if you feel this way too. I've been watching a couple of people that are just going through a hard time, especially at their age when they're moving out and stuff. And they just seem so lost and they basically have they're scared they're scared they're lost and it's really rubbing off on me i think just the fact that 
I don't know if it's just the complaining because it's not really complaining you're saying okay where I'm at in life right now and it's very sad and I think that's rubbing off on me that energy that they're putting out there I'm only watching them it's um videos I'm watching of them going through this difficult time and the way they seem I'm I feel so bad but at the same time I'm letting it get to me and I don't know why usually you kind of just rub it off and keep on going on your way because you're fine and everything but I guess this is come I'm compassionate maybe I don't know it's it was really weird because I couldn't just go mm, glad that's not happening to me it was more going oh my god that may be me one day you know that ever happen to you yeah that's oh there is a it's a difference between wait a minute give me a minute mm -hmm. oh yeah it's a difference between being sympathetic and empathetic uh, sympathetic is when you get drawn in and your energy goes down because you're so, you're, you're so tense and worked up about what that person is telling you and I think it has a lot to do with also trying to please the person or wishing you could do something to change their life yeah and that's that's sympathetic but empathetic means I understand where you're coming from I've been through the same thing and maybe give a helpful suggestion but don't try to fix it for them just let them know that you know you you understand from an outside perspective and you're not giving something of yourself a way to try to make them feel better that's actually pretty accurate thank you but yeah as i said we're not going to barnes and noble anymore hopefully that happens tomorrow um we're basically heading home i don't really have much to say so i'm probably just gonna end the vlog here i'm gonna edit you tonight and i'll see you tomorrow bye